Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video we're going to be talking about Labyrinth of Legends. So in the next few uh, weeks or so I'm going to be making a couple videos about Labyrinth. I'm going to be going over the best champions to use in Labyrinth, some fighting techniques and things to watch out for. But we're going to start with the basics and that is going to be understanding the layout of Labyrinth of Legends and the reasoning behind it and how to design your own custom path. So anyways, this is like an old map I designed for uh, champion Marvel Trucos ages ago. But I think it's fairly outdated because when I planned these paths, it was mainly for Star-Lord specifically because that was like your go-to option for Labyrinth. However, there are many more champions these days that uh, can do Labyrinth and can do Labyrinth really well. And for them, these paths might not necessarily be the best ones and this might not necessarily be the best way how to plan your run. So instead of trying to make 72 different maps for many champions, because uh, even for a single champion, if you use it as your main Labyrinth guy, your path still might vary depending on what you have available for your synergies and stuff like that. So anyways, so instead of doing all that, I decided to try and explain to you guys how to orientate your best, uh, yourself best in Labyrinth. So first we can take a look at three kind of like colored in sections in Labyrinth. And why they are colored in? Because they are all completely preferential and interchangeable. Like at the beginning of the labyrinth, you can either go to Red Hulk or to Star Lord. Uh, the only rules that apply there is that you need to fight Red Hulk uh, at least once, and you need to fight Star Lord at least twice. Other than that, uh, rest of the four times you're going to be starting a labyrinth path because you're always going to start at that point. You can pick and choose which fights you prefer. Typically, people normally prefer doing Red Hulk, Old Man Logan, Electra, and Miss Marvel. But instead of doing that, you can always do Star Lord, Dodge, Gen Foster, and then exit at exactly the same spot and kind of catch up to uh, the first variation of champions just after Miss Marvel, and then decide how you're going to proceed in Labyrinth. So it's entirely preferential which fights you find easier, which fights you find quicker. You can either do four fights at 1.5 mil each, or two fights with 3.3 uh, mil each. So there's that first section. Second section we're going to take a look at is up top, and that is basically the crossing between Venom Pool, Black Widow, and Miles Morales. So in there, you have a choice whether you ha want to have one fight of Venom Pool, or you want to have two fights of uh, Black Widow and Miles Morales. You're going to find yourself in that same exact spot three times when you're running Labyrinth, and your only rule is that you need to take each of those paths at least once. So for the third uh, clear, when you're doing the third path and end up there, it's entirely up to you whether you prefer to fight Venom Pool or Miles and Black Widow. I know some people struggle with Venom Pool, so you'd much rather pick two fights instead of one. Some people have no problems fighting Venom Pool, and it just makes sense to go and have one fight instead of two fights and make shorter on yourself. And the last section uh, is the bit which I like to call the four exits. And you're going to find yourself in the last section, at top of the last section, five times. The only, only rules there are that you must cover uh, each exit once. That means you must cover uh, Rhino, Ultron, Kamal Khan, and Moon Knight at least once, which by extension means that you need to fight uh, Cyclops and uh, Doctor Strange at least two times. It is entirely up to you um, which one you want to fight again for the fifth time, because you will have to cross it. And yeah, so it's again preferential whether you prefer fighting Doctor Strange and Kamal Khan or let's say Cyclops and Rhino. So whichever you find easier, you can simply run down there. And the main kind of point is also for that section of last five exits, because you can change the order you do them completely depending which teams you take. So just because in this path, let's say path six tells you to fight Ultron, you do not have to do that. You can go and fight Doctor Strange and Moon Knight. And so that's basically for path uh, two, three, four, five and six. Every single path that you run inside of the labyrinth is going to end up there and you can decide where you're going to finish up and exit. Only thing you need to make sure is yeah, that you cover all of them, but they are in no way kind of uh, demanding you to do uh, 
Ultron at path 6 or Kamal Khan at path 5 or Moon Knight at path 3. It's entirely up to you in which order with which path you want to finish up that last bit of Labyrinth and exit towards the final stretch. So that is also extremely important because it always kind of depends what kind of synergy teams, what team you have with you. And just because you have a team for path 5, let's say, to do Juggernaut does not necessarily mean that you have good option against Doctor Strange with you at the same time. So if you don't, you might as well go to Cyclops and let's say Rhino and exit that way and come back and fight Moon Knight when you have more suitability for Moon Knight. Uh, that's kind of like the base idea that you can completely personalize all that last bit with any roster, with any kind of order you do your path. And next, a uh, quick thing I'm going to mention are kind of like four critical points in Labyrinth. And they are there just because you need to cross those spaces at least once and you need to keep in mind that they need to be crossed and you do not uh, want to cross them more than once. As in like you have to plan your path that you end up in that spot one and only one time. And those are like Black Widow, that bit before Groot when you finish the fight with a Cyclops Red on the outside, you need to remember that you need to turn in to the left side at least once. Uh, sorry, not at least once, just once. And then there are the same spots after Gamora and after Falcon. So uh, to make it uh, also a noteworthy point, you will do seven paths of Labyrinth. You cannot possibly 100% Labyrinth in six paths. I know many people have asked this to me in the past. You can do every single fight in Labyrinth in six paths only. But if you do that, you're going to be missing that spot just below Gamora. And that's going to leave you on like 99 or 98%. And you're going to end up doing an extra path. So yeah, you must count on doing Maestro, Fighting Maestro, Fighting in Labyrinth in seven different paths. It's not possible to 100% in only six different paths. And yeah, I think that's going to be more or less it about today's video. I hope this kind of helps you to be more creative in your own Labyrinth, labyrinth clears. Uh, and I hope you can find the best way to clear Labyrinth for your roster because again for each and every single roster it's best to make custom paths rather than blindly following one set template because that's what it is it's just a template it's not the bible and yeah I hope this video helped you guys and if it did please do feel free to leave a like a share it and subscribe next video I'm going to be going over kind of like the best options of champions to use in Labyrinth and then there's going to be a third video about kind of like small tips and tricks, what to watch out for uh, in specific fights and in general while playing in Labyrinth. But yeah, that's me done for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'm going to see you guys very soon.